Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about customer managed keys or bring your own key for TDE on Azure SQL Managed Instance. So first off, what is TDE? TDE stands for Transparent Data Encryption, and it is a technology that is used to encrypt your data files, your log files, and your backup files at rest. Encrypting your data at rest is an important security strategy for any organization. If a bad actor was to ever breach your network, they could easily attach your database files or restore your database backups to their own environment, giving them access to your sensitive data. Encrypting this data at rest ensures that even if they can get their hands onto your data, they would not be able to attach that data or restore that data. Thus making that data useless to them. The only way that they could actually restore that data is if they have the actual encryption keys to decrypt those data files. In Azure SQL Managed Instance, the transparent data encryption feature is turned on by default. User databases are encrypted by a database encryption key. That encryption key is then protected by what is referred to as the TDE protector. For Azure SQL Managed Instance, the TDE protector is a service managed key. A service managed key is one that is owned and managed by Microsoft. Microsoft will take care of all of the management tasks for it, including key rotation. However, for many organizations, you may have regulatory requirements or compliance requirements that specify that you have to manage your own encryption keys. This is oftentimes done to allow for the separation of duties. So your database admin team can manage the actual data and your security teams can manage the encryption keys. For those particular environments where you have to manage your own encryption keys, this is where the customer managed keys feature comes into play here. Azure SQL Managed Instance allows you to bring in your own encryption keys that will then be stored inside of a Azure Key Vault. Azure Key Vault is a highly available and scalable storage option for you to store your cryptographic keys within. And the Azure Key Vault was built in such a way that even Microsoft does not have the ability to see or to access your keys that you have stored inside of your Key Vault. Once you bring in and you utilize your own customer managed keys, this is going to allow you to separate duties. Security admins for Azure Key Vault can now revoke your encryption keys at any given time, thus making your encrypted databases unusable. So let's take a real quick look here at how the encryption process works for transparent data encryption with customer managed keys. As we can see from the Microsoft Learn image here, the SQL database will send its database encryption key to the Azure Key Vault for encryption. Once that key is actually encrypted, it will then be sent back to the database for storage. Anytime that decryption is needed, it will send that encrypted key back to the key vault for decryption. Auditing features can also be turned on so that your internal audit teams can now monitor the encryption and the decryption of those various keys. This model allows for the separation of duties. Your database admin team can focus on managing the data. Security admin teams can manage the security keys and the encryption features. And then your audit teams can manage who and when those particular encryption keys are accessed. Now let's go out to the Azure portal real quick and take a look at what it looks like to actually implement the customer managed keys for Azure SQL Managed Instance. All right, guys, so we are logged into the Azure portal now. And the first thing that I want to do here with my managed instance is I want to come down here to the transparent data encryption feature here. And as we can see that this is enabled right now and we are utilizing the service managed key option here. So before I change this over to the customer managed key, I want to jump over real quick to the management studio tool really quick. All right. So now I'm logged into management studio here. And the first thing that I want to do is I just want to run a T SQL statement here 
just so I can view my databases and their encryption status here. And I want to make note of the encryptor thumbprint as well. So I'm just going to run this statement right here. And then we can see that I have um, two different user databases here, AdventureWorks and DemoDB. And I can see that both of these two databases are encrypted here. And here is my encryptor thumbprint for it. So my thumbprint just kind of um, represents the unique encryption key that is being utilized here for TDE. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this here just so we can reference this later on and validate that our encryption key has indeed changed. All right, so now that we have done that, I'm going to jump back into the Azure portal and I'm going to flip this over to customer managed key. So once I make that change here, it's asking us now for some additional information here. Number one is we have to choose a key selection method. So we can either choose a actual key by looking through our subscription here, or we can input the key identifier. So I'm going to use the key option here to choose my actual key, but I don't have a key for it quite yet. So what I need to do is I'm going to come out here and I'm going to create me a Azure Key Vault resource. So I'll just leave those things unchanged and then I'm just going to create myself a new Key Vault here. I am going to create a new resource group and I will just call this CMK-Demo-RG for resource group. And then I will just name this my demo vault and that name is used. I'll just add in one, two, three. And then I'm going to put this in South Central US. And then the only other thing that I need to modify here is that I need to ensure that we turn on the purge protection feature here. So this is going to be required anytime that you want to utilize the customer managed key feature inside of Azure SQL managed instance. What purge protection does, if you accidentally delete your key vault, it is going to keep that key vault for 90 days so that you can recover it. So remember that if your database is being encrypted with TDE and if you were to lose your actual keys, your data is gone. There is no way that you can get your data back. There is no way that Microsoft can get your data back. So managing and protecting your keys are vital before you implement this feature here. So we want to ensure that we enable the purge protection feature here. Then I'll just click through the next thing. Um, as far as our access policy, we will set this up a little later on. So I'll just leave everything as is for right now. No changes here to network settings, no tags for right now. And I will just go ahead and create this key vault. So we'll give this just a few minutes here to create my key vault. All right, so it looks like my Key Vault resource is ready for me to utilize now. So I'm just going to come into this resource here. And then the first thing that I want to do here is I'm going to generate myself a new key. So I'll come down here to the key section and then I'm going to click on the plus button right here to generate a new key. I'm just going to name this um, my SQL MI key. And then I'm going to choose a RSA type with a key size of 2048. Um, as far as my activation and expiration date, I'm going to leave these blank right now. But if you so choose to actually utilize these, just note that your activation date needs to be a date that is in the past and your expiration date needs to be a date that is in the future. So I will just leave those things blank for right now. I want this to be enabled. Um, I'm not going to do any type of tags right now or rotation policy. So I will just go ahead and create this new key. All right, so now that my key is actually created here, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to set up a access policy here. 
The access policy is what we are going to utilize to ensure that our Azure SQL managed instance has the ability to connect to our key vault and to read our keys from inside of the key vault. So I'm just going to set up a new access policy here. I will click on the create button to create a new policy. And we're going to need to ensure that we grant our policy the get permission and then the unwrap key and the wrap key permission. So I will add those permissions there. And then for my principal here, I'm going to look for the managed identity that is tied to my Azure SQL managed instance here. So I know that my instance is called SQL managed, oops, managed instance 555. So this is it right here. So I will utilize this one and click next. Nothing here in the application tab. And then I'm going to review and create this access policy. All right, so this access policy is in place now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Azure SQL Manage Instance and choose my particular instance. And then I'm going to come down once again to the TDE feature here. And now I want to enable Customer Managed Key here. And then I'm going to choose my actual key here by browsing inside of my key vault and this is my key vault right here the my demo vault one two three and then my key name is my sql mi key so this is the key that i want to use for that i'm going to select that and now it is going to apply this new customer key that we have created inside of Azure Key Vault. Um, the only other thing here that we need to ensure is just making sure that this checkbox right here is checked. So basically we're saying that we want to use our RSA key that is inside of Azure Key Vault as our TDE protector key. So remember, the database is encrypted via a database encryption key. And then that particular key is then encrypted by the TDE protector key. So everything looks good here. So I will click on the save option here to allow these changes to take effect. All right. So it looks like our changes are completed now. So to further validate that we are now using our customer managed key, I'm going to jump back over to the management studio tool once more. All right, so we are back inside of Management Studio here. And remember, um, before we made the actual change from the service managed key into the customer managed key, we came in here and we checked to see what our encryptor thumbprint value was. And then we copy and pasted that value right here. So I will just rerun this statement once again, and we should notice that we have a new thumbprint right here. And as we can see, we do indeed have a new thumbprint here. So this confirms for us that now we are using our own custom managed key that we generated inside of Azure Key Vault. All right, so now we took a quick look at just how easy it is for you to enable customer managed keys for Azure SQL Managed Instance. So as we saw, you can utilize the Azure Key Vault to generate your own encryption keys or you can upload your own key to the actual Key Vault. Remember, the transparent data encryption feature provides you with a capability to encrypt your data files, your log files, and your backup files at rest. This feature is utilized to protect you in the event of a network breach. So even if a attacker was to get access to your data files, they would not be able to actually view your data without those actual encryption and decryption keys. So with the TDE feature, you have the option to use the default, which is service managed keys, which means that Microsoft will manage that TDE protector key and Microsoft will take care of all of the maintenance activities for that actual key. Option number two is you can bring in your own customer managed key but now you will have to take care of the management of those keys, including key rotation. So bringing in your own customer managed keys is just going to provide you with more control 
over your encryption process and it is going to allow you to better separate duties for separate roles. Before you leave today, I ask you that if this particular video helped you to learn anything today, hit that like button for me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in a upcoming video here, we're gonna talk about a key feature that SQL admins do all the time that will actually require you to have a customer managed key. So you don't wanna miss that video. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, peace.